So it seems that Hollywood has stolen from me again, and it's hard to talk about these things. Um, I just want to share some thoughts. Uh, I was actually really upset yesterday, and you know, for anyone who's ever worked in creative arts or you know worked in Hollywood, you would know this stuff is real. Um, this is the third time this kind of thing has happened to me. Um, this one is, is a little bit more egregious than the others. So. Basically, if, if you knew the channel and, and knew here, my, my name is Chris. Um, I was born in Vietnam. Uh, my family was killed in the war, and I survived the Operation Baby uh, plane crash. And um, you know, ultimately, I, I joined the United States Navy after 9/11 to be a pilot. Um, these kind of things were uh, included in a TV show, actually called "For All Mankind" on Apple TV. They have a Vietnamese character who is the same stuff. Um, was in the Operation Baby with plane crash and, and wants to be a Navy pilot. And on top of that, which is also crazy too, as interest in theater, which is kind of random, um, which is that was my uh, undergraduate major uh, in college, theater and film. Um, and I, I don't know, I, I, I f feel strange, um, you know, and I mentioned this the third time, uh, I wrote a script called um, uh, United Heroes Agency and elements from my script made it into the pilot of The Boys, which is a streaming show on Amazon. Um, I also wrote a, a script called uh, Galactic Princess, um, which is about basically love boat in space or a cruise liner in space. Elements of from my script, um, in my basically show concept um, became Avenue Five, which was a TV show on HBO. Um, and you know, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, but you know, and then you're like, oh, it's 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 hard to it's hard to talk about this stuff, you know, and. The thing that, that's frustrating about these things is it was never a question of, because you know, people always like, why did you leave Hollywood or why did you quit your job being a professor? Well, I mean, I quit my job as a professor because, you know, I just felt like, even though I like teaching with students, I just felt like I wanted to, you know, utilize my, my talents and abilities to my, to my, you know, full extent to, to where you have no limits. And, you know, when I got to Hollywood, you know, essentially people look at me as just being some stupid Asian person and, and why would I want to hire an Asian person? And, and just keeping it real. And, or, or, or people would, you know, would question that someone like me would even ever exist. Like, it just it seems so fantastical. Um, but I'm a real person. I'm right here. And, you know, w one of the things that is, is frustrating as well is everyone always always say the same things in Hollywood is, oh, your story should be a movie and stuff like that. And obviously, I've, you know, I mean, you guys know it's not obviously, but just I've written several scripts um, about, you know, my, my feelings on, on the subject of the Vietnam War and, and you know, but being in the Navy, et cetera. Um, and, you know, it's, it's interesting because when, when, um, when, I, when I saw this for all mankind and it's um, season uh, two, episode 10, my friend just texted me yesterday about this thing. And they had the main, the, the, not the main character, but the Vietnamese character speaking. And just, I was like, oh my God, they actually stole my words as well, <laughs> like actual words. And, uh, you know, the, the I, 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 and I'd be curious to you guys' opinion if you think it's just, if it's random, is it, is it really possible? Um, that a writer could just randomly make up a Vietnamese character uh, like this. Um, my my feeling is most likely um, they you know they Googled some things and say hey look at this look at this guy he's from Vietnam and look at this background and hey I'll use that for a character and that's probably what happened and you know it's fine I, I have no problem with that just just sharing with you how, how it feels you know because it was it was frustrating when um, when I when I was pitching my, my script and um, if you don't know I, I wrote a script um, about essentially coming from Vietnam, surviving the plane crash, and then becoming a Navy pilot. Um, that, was, that was a script. And, um, you know, essentially, think of it this way. Uh, I would always say it was like Slumdog Millionaire plus Top Gun. Um, it's just, you know, and pitch it to many studios, had meetings with Disney, et cetera. And, and you know, the answers that I would get was, um, you know, it's a great story. You, you know, you're, it looks like a talented person, but uh, we, we just can't cast any Asian people because there's no one to cast. Um, they, would, they would say these kind of things. And, it just always makes you feel like, well, you know, you're really great, but you look the wrong way or you're really great, but we don't want to use people like you in, in film and stuff. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy that they're using people that look like me uh, in shows now, right? Th things are, you know, slowly changing. Um, there's more people in the world than just white and black and just telling you guys how it is to be Asian American in Hollywood because in the past, um, you know, it's, it's, it's no mistake that you'll make a movie like, say, A Lethal Weapon and you put a white person, a black person together and, hey, you got a movie and... and you know, there's several of those kind of movies that, that use that formula and, you know, people like myself were, were largely cut out of, of Hollywood or entertainment, um, you know, and now they're starting to use people, but it, it just feels really, really awkward um, to me. And, and like I said, for those of you who are in creative arts or anything like that to, to know 
or have the feeling where it's like someone steals from you. And, and like I said, this is the third time. Um, you know, the first time we, we were actually in uh, Saigon at the time, because we had left Hollywood, I, I was pitching my, my hero's uh, script all over. And, and actually, this is a true story. Um, the agent of one of the actors on The Boys uh, had looked at my script, liked the stuff, et cetera. And, um, you know, ultimately, when, when we ended up seeing the pilot episode of The, of the Boys, it's talking about the Amazon show now, and, and they were using, like, words from my script. I was like, what the heck? And it, 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 it gives you, you know, and there's nothing you can really do um, legally um, because the, the basic gist of it is, is that you, I mean, this is real, and it's the same on YouTube as well, I guess. Um, you can take elements from people's stuff, right? Um, take the whole thing and, and copy it exactly. No, you can't, you can't really do that, but you can take elements. And so one of the frustrating things about, you know, Hollywood or whatever is, is ideas aren't really copyrightable or, or things like that. Um, even say like life rights, not, not necessarily, um, you know, like for example, and this is just true. I could turn on the TV and, and, um, I you know I could pick a, say, a, a sports star, we'll just, you know, use Venus Williams because I just made a movie about it recently and say, oh, you know, there's a dad and has two daughters are really good at, you know, a sport and, and it can make a thing about that. And they can't really do anything, right? Because it, it's related to them, but it's not like exactly. And it's the same thing with the, um, with the Apple TV show, but it just, I, I think, I think the hardest thing about this kind of stuff is just knowing that, that you are good enough. In fact, even, um, I mean, I'm just keeping around this is better than a lot of people and in terms of talents is different kinds of better. I'm just trying to talk honestly and real about this stuff. Um, and, and, you know, no matter how hard you work, if you look the wrong way, no one's interested. I, I, I hope, I hope things are, are different. I, I think they are, um, for Asian Americans in Hollywood, it certainly appears that way. Um, now that they are using characters like me, <laughs> I try to laugh. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really upset yesterday and, you know, I, I'm just, Sometimes, you know, you make these videos just, just, um, if there's other people out there who, who, who have the same experiences like that, I, I will say moving forward, I think there'll be a lot more opportunities for Asian Americans, um, going ahead. And it, it's something that everyone knows in Hollywood, this kind of stuff, if you're Asian American, that we're often passed over. Um, and it's, it's, um, you know, and, and you, you could say the same for any group of people that feel like they've been passed over. Right. Um, I, I think what becomes very frustrating is that when you're working in Hollywood, this is sort of how people talk. Oh, if, well, if they, if they didn't pick you or they didn't pick your script, it's just because it wasn't good enough or just because you're not talented enough. And they kind of, you know, make you feel like, oh, you're just not good enough. Um, you know, the reality is, though, and just keep it real, I mean, there's a lot of shows that come out are just awful. You guys know this. Not every single movie that in Hollywood comes out is great. Not every single TV show that comes out is great. You guys know there's a lot of terrible stuff come out. And, and it sort of makes you, you know, question like, okay, so how are things picked? And, you know, um, what becomes even more frustrating is when you find that your work is appearing in, in shows and then and, and your life is appearing in shows and it's like, okay, so clearly it's not a problem with my talent. <laughs> you're, you're, you're clearly using this stuff. Um, you just don't want to pick me. And I, you know, this is one of the things that I, I guess, you know, turn into positive of where I like doing YouTube. Um, I like being a professor um, because, you know, there's no one to bother me. Uh, I, I just, I think, I think the worst feeling in life, and I think maybe maybe people have this in the, with their job, is is you know people exploiting you. I, I think I think that's a horrible feeling. Um, you know, and exp exploitation, as example, is, is using your work and not paying you enough, or, or using your work and not giving you credit. I think I think those two things. I think people can really um, understand, right? If anyone has ever had a job and you work really hard and your boss is like take something from you and, and gets all the credit and maybe even gets a pay raise based on your work and, and what can you do? Right. Like that kind of situation. So it, it feels like that. And, um, you know, one of the things I, I, I really like YouTube and I'm happy to have you guys join us, you know, or join me every day or whatever you want to say it is, is that, you know, theoretically there's no limit to this kind of stuff. Um, the one thing I, I will say, and this reminds me of some of the, the, you know, make, making a lot of video videos lately of reviewing other channels of, Everyone has to make decisions in life um, on, on what they do. And, you know, if, if one wants to practice immoral things like steal from other people and stuff like that, um, I think you, you have a short career and, and you um, ultimately, you know, um, do damage to, your, to yourself. And 
you know, I, I think one thing is that, you know, you guys know this, I'm, I'm pushing 50. Um, the reason why I stay young and things I have, I have a clear conscience and I'm not out to like try to cheat people or anything of that nature. Um, and yes, people do cheat you in life, right? People cheat me and, and it's like, I don't know. I, 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 sorry, this is all kind of random, but I just, I, I'm trying to just say like, bad things do happen in life, but you just have to keep doing the best that you can. Um, some things are, are out of your control. Um, and yes, it, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good when you see your words on screen used by someone else and someone else is getting paid with your work. It, it doesn't feel good. And it, it doesn't feel good when you see characters that are based on your life. Um, and, and I don't think it's random. I just, I don't think that someone can just randomly make up this kind of, I just, it's not something that, um, and I looked up the writers, they're all, they're all white and they're you know, older. It's not like they're going to have that experience. Um, you know, and, and to use the exact words that I've used in, in my scripts and stuff, it's just, it's not something that's going to be random. Um, you know, and, and I don't know, sorry, I'm not really being clear, but I, I guess the, the thing I'm trying to say is, um, you, you, you can't ever really quit on life. Um, there's a lot of bad things that are going to happen to you and you just got to keep pushing forward. And, and also to be really frank, I, I'm been really, really happy, uh, doing YouTube and happy that, um, you know, people, um, and even if it's a small audience, a very small audience, you know, but you know, you, you try to try your best to put out positive things. And I'll just give you a simple example. When, when I was a professor, um, one of the things I didn't like about professor, we just don't get paid very much. We just, we just don't. Um, and everything depends on which university you're back, but even at the top universities, what, what, I, what you feel like it, you're contributing to the world. And as you could say this for the high school teachers as well, um, I, I value education quite a bit. And I, I always find it strange when people make fun of educators and like, oh, you just do educating because you can't do something. It's like, okay, so in that, that point of view, and that means like you just going to say that, you know, high school teachers and, and grade school teachers and, and professors are unimportant and educating the, the lives of young people is a not important thing. And, and you know, people, I, I, just, I, I just don't like that kind of talk. I think this is ludicrous. You know, some people choose to, to serve others um, because that's what they want to do. You know, for example, you guys may or may not know this. Um, when I was younger, I was much more adamant about Christianity, just way more. I wanted to be a youth pastor. And the idea was that, you know, I wanted to serve young people and, and be a, a good role model for young people. Um, you know, as I got older, I realized I didn't have to necessarily go into the church to do, you know, be a role model for young people. You could, you know, be a professor. And it's, it's a, you know, noble job, I think. And, um, you know, problem is a culture though when you do these things you just feel like man i'm just not getting paid enough for my talents and 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 I, i'm telling you just, just as a human you know anyone's like oh my god i'm not getting paid enough this is what you feel like you're worth and i think i think there's a fine balance because you know chasing after say a higher paying job comes with some some trade-offs of the things that you have to do and you know i said and i moved to hollywood and now they just steal my work and <laughs> basically what am i going to do um but you know going back to the whole youtube thing or whatever it's nice to be able to have a platform to where there's not necessarily a limit to how how successful you can be in these things and the same with with day trading or stocks there's not really a limit to how successful you can be at these things if you're good at this stuff you can do really really well so you know I, I guess my advice to people out there is you know there will be bumps in the road uh, in life um, but you just have to keep moving forward you know sometimes the world is just not on your side and, and that's part of life right sometimes you know um, the world is not looking for people who look like you. <laughs> and, and what are you going to do about it? You know, um, you can sit around and mope, I guess. Um, but you know, you're better off, um, uh, finding alternate paths. Sometimes some paths are just not available. So you got to do something different. Um, and so, you know, every day I try to do the best that I can. Um, I, I stay positive in, in the sense that, uh, you know, I challenge myself to, to, to find success. So, I, I know this is pretty random stuff to talk about, but I just want to share it with you. Um, it just it just doesn't feel good when Hollywood steals stuff from you, and um, I, I wish I wish things were different. Uh, I, I do. I, I really wish they were, and, and I, you know, I wish the world was a moral place, but it's not. Um, but I, it doesn't mean necessarily that I'm going to turn immoral and, and you know lie, cheat, and steal from other people and that kind of stuff. It's just not something that I want to do, and it's not something I'm interested in. So. Anyway, I um, hope you guys are, are find this useful and, and just want to share this experience. So thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.